Hello and welcome. I'm Sachin Ramhe with Avaya Serviceability Engineering. In this video, we'll talk about how to set up and use the cruise control job in Avaya Proactive Contact. The Avaya Proactive Contact has two methods of call pacing, expert calling ratio and cruise control. The cruise control method is used when you have some legal regulations to minimize or prohibit abandoned or nuisance calls. These can be calls like where the customer is called by the Avaya Proactive Contact but there is no available agent at that point and so the customer abandons the call or the proactive contact itself abandons the call. The setting is provided at the job level and so this works on a per job basis. So you can choose to turn on the cruise control on some jobs and expert calling ratio on some, depending on your requirement. Once you turn on the cruise control on a job, there are two settings, the desired service level and the connect tolerance. The desired service level is the percentage that you want the system to maintain while servicing the calls. So for example, a setting of 99 would mean that you want the system to serve 99% of the calls made out of that job. And by service, we mean getting the customer to talk with a live agent. And the connect tolerance setting is the number of seconds the system should wait to find an available agent before designating it as a nuisance call. So for example, a setting of 2 seconds would mean that the system should find an available agent within 2 seconds after the customer picks up the phone. Else this call will be marked as a nuisance call. So based on these two parameters, the system's algorithm determines the appropriate pace at which it should dial. If there are enough available agents and they are sitting idle, system increases the dialing pace. And if there are not many available agents, and the system is having to wait for a fraction before finding an available agent, it decreases the pace of the dialing, etc. So basically it tries to dial at a maximum pace it can so that the agents are not sitting idle and also the two threshold levels are not exceeded. The hit rate settings on the job still apply for the cruise control just like they do for the expert calling ratio method. And the cruise control jobs are not compatible with the unit work list feature so if you are having a unit work list job, you cannot turn on the cruise control on that job. You will have to use the expert calling ratio. And please note that Avaya recommends that there must be at least 8 agents logged into the job for the cruise control to work correctly. Now let's see how this is set up on the job. So I have logged into an editor application and I'll open an outbound job here. Under the call pacing section, you will see this setting for call pacing method. Currently it is set to expert calling ratio. And so the expert calling ratio setting is also being displayed on the screen. From this drop down, if we select cruise control, you'll see that the expert calling ratio setting has disappeared now. Now for the cruise control settings, you need to scroll down to the service level section. Here the first two settings that is the service level and connect tolerance are applicable for the cruise control method. For the desired service level you can choose to increase or decrease this setting from here. The default setting is 99 which means 99% of the calls should be serviced by the job. And for the connect tolerance the default is 1 seconds. So based on these settings you make here, the jobs algorithm will maintain the call pacing so as to maximize the agent productivity and still minimize the abandoned or nuisance calls. And now just to talk about the non-compatibility with the unit work list feature, if you scroll up here and click on the checkbox for require unit ID for agent login, which is the setting for unit work list feature, You'll see that the call pacing setting says that only the expert calling ratio method can be used with the unit work list job. If you click on the drop down now, you'll see that only the expert calling ratio method is listed there. Since the require unit ID checkbox has been checked. So this means that the cruise control method cannot be used with the unit work list type of job. So in this video, we saw the required settings for the cruise control job. With that, we come to the end of this video. Thank you for watching this video. For any questions or feedback, you may write to us at mentor at avaya.com or at avaya mentor on Twitter. For more details and other technical information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.